I'd like to show you a really neat technique working from dark to light with poly painting. It's very similar to the same type of master's technique in oil painting. You'll find that your texturing will come to life very quickly and also have a nice feel, a nice realism and softness to it that you normally can't achieve when working light to dark. Now for texturing the character's head in ZBrush, I'm actually going to use a poly painting technique that is dark to light. It's very similar to dry brushing. And I'm going to show you a very simple way of approaching it. I'm just going to start out with the standard brush, but make sure I turn off any of the Z Ed. I just want to work with the RGB and a very low intensity setting. I'm also going to start out by enabling the colorizing and then I'll start out with a very dark base color, in this case a very dark green or olive. Using a middle tone of flesh, I'm just going to start roughing in the highlight areas of the face. So around the trim of the nose, the cheekbone, the mouth and the ears, uh, and especially the forehead. I just want to lay in a base color of flesh tone throughout the character's head. And I'm building this up in layers, so it's very important that just like spray painting a car, you don't want to try to paint the car in one go. You want to build up several multiple layers. You'll get a much nicer finish. So I'm going to go over all the different areas of the face, first in the highlights, and then I'm going to gently do a layer that is covering the entire face. Uh, I will also continuously change the tone of my flesh, so I'm not always working with the same exact tone but different variations, whether it's a bit more warmer or, co or cooler. Uh, one of the things that I like to do, especially in the heat intensity of the character's head, is to turn on the color spray, which gives me a variation of whatever color I'm painting. And I'll switch from a darker blue to a warmer red or mauve color. And what this allows me to do is build up a heat intensity within the pattern of the skin tone. It gives you a much richer, more realistic feel. And it's very simple to do, uh, but you'll notice a substantial difference in your work. So again, the first thing we want to do is hit the highlights with a flesh tone, then cover the entire face with a general tone of flesh layer, and then come back with the heat pattern. Once that is complete, then I'll go back into the face and start adding some more of the highlights and I'll continuously adjust the tone of the flesh to somewhat of a lighter yellow color basically depending on whatever the skin color is of that character and I'll even adjust the different alphas that I'm using within the brush to give me different patterns for the skin so at this stage I'm just gently going around the highlight areas once again and I'm hitting those highlighted areas almost in a way of dry brushing or burnishing the character. I'll turn on an alpha that are scratch lines and this gives me almost a nice kind of scratched in feel but you have to do it with a very low intensity setting and a very gentle stroke but it builds up almost like beads of sweat type feel on the character's skin. Uh, it's a great technique, it works really well but you have to use it in a very limited fashion, just on some of the key highlight areas. One other key point is anytime I'm working around the character's chin or jawline, I tend to go with a little bit more of a deeper blue, sometimes gray color, to accentuate some of the hair follicles or the five o'clock shadow that the character would have if it's a male character. And then finally, I'll go around all of the hairline with a darker gray brownish color just to build up a bit of a shadow line around the skin where it meets the hair. That'll make the blending between the hair and the skin a little bit easier and less of a contrast as if I painted just a black edge. So as you can see, this technique works really well. You get very nice results and fairly quickly. I mean, uh, texturing the character's head only took about 30 minutes. I'm really pleased with the results. Also keep in mind that you, when you're working with the RGB, you can also work with the smooth. Just make sure that you turn off the Z-Add when you hold down Shift for smooth. 
You only want to work with the smooth on the color, but you can actually soften your color too, uh, the same way you normally would with your sculpting. So here's the final result. I'm really happy the way it turned out. This only took approximately 30 minutes for me to paint the entire character's face.